Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool morning guys and it is the next day after the birthday and i really need to have my coffee i definitely have a hangover today i woke up at 6 45 but i did sleep early and that is probably the reason but i'm so tired even as i'm doing this voiceover i'm knackered i usually like to have my cup of coffee extremely strong um and I'm so used to it now that I can't even tell the difference. So usually what I do in the morning, I wake up, I have my coffee and then I scroll through my phone and just see what's new on my subscription feed, emails, etc. That just gives me a little bit more time to kind of like wake up, have breakfast and just kind of get ready for the day. Cleaning this table in the morning was the hardest thing to do because there was not just plates with cakes on it, there was toys, there was games. It was just confettis all over the place. You will get to see in a few moments the confetti mess that we have. Um, especially on the floor, it was stuck in the curtains. Oh, it was a nightmare. Luckily, the Hoover, the vacuum, um, sucked it all up without any problems. Because um, I do remember trying to um, suck up or vacuum up the um, confettis before and it just didn't work it kept on getting stuck and jammed in the vacuum so yeah this was um a, just a big mess and i have to say it was still fun though but um cleaning afterwards especially when you got a hangover is probably the worstest thing that you know you could do but luckily my hangover wasn't so so bad my birthday is on monday so I'm planning on again having another big bash. Um, so we got a, a jam-packed weekend, um, obviously, and that vlog for my birthday will be up on the following weekend.
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do The tricky part with this was that the rug itself when I vacuum it moves around and it sucks it up so this is the reason why I had to pretty much broom it up first um, also the kids and everyone was still asleep so I was pretty much the only one awake and I obviously didn't want to disturb them that is the reason why but honestly the broom was not doing any justice because these confettis were flying around everywhere and I mean they were flying everywhere so um, I just had to do, do the best I could but you can see like this is not even like half of the confettis there was so much more like behind places in the curtains and as I just kept on going it just kept on building up but um yeah <laughs> just looking at it is kind of like overwhelming me but um we kind of got it done in the end Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now, there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer now i am onto the kitchen and you will actually notice that throughout this video i've had to record each room in different parts that is because the mess uh was just in different parts of the room which meant i have to go to this room to that room in order to clean up certain parts so there was no way i'd be able to stay just in one room like for example i would have to vacuum the confetti from the dining room and then in the living space i would have to vacuum there but then i would find mess somewhere else i think you're getting the idea right so that is the reason why you will see different parts of you know different rooms being cleaned throughout this video and it's not just kind of like limited to just the kitchen then the living room etc um but eventually i do get back into the swing of it um, so if you are wondering why that is the reason, well, I just explained it. So I hope that helps. A bigger scale the world inhales as we go.
take me for a ride I went back to the Gusto box. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, it's always uploaded every weekend. Um, but I decided to go back to the Gusto box over HelloFresh because I just feel that the Gusto box definitely has more choices and more varieties um, when it comes to, you know, like for vegetarians and stuff. Um, so that is why I've decided to go back to Gusto Box. Um, I had been comparing and in all honesty, I was just struggling because with HelloFresh, I had repetitive sort of recipes coming up for vegetarians and pascarians. Um, so that is the reason why um, I decided to go back to Gusto. However, I've only ordered just one box um, and I'm taking a break from both HelloFresh and Gusto. So with Gusto, I am about to cancel it, but with um, so with HelloFresh I'm about to cancel it but with um, Gusto I'm deciding to keep Gusto because I just feel like it's a lot more better even though it's a little bit more pricier but I mean I can I can accept that because they do have a whole range of recipes and more options for it so that is what we're going to do have a freebie these are called the love corns and this is what it looks like um never tried these before cheese and onion flavor so um this should be interesting for snacking i'll let you know how it is and then i do have a discount code so i might put that in the description box somewhere down below for you guys but yeah that's what we have for this one I have to say that I hate this carpet so much. We've had it for such a long time and it just pulls. I mean, it pulls every time you do vacuum on it, it pulls, it moves around. Um, mind you saying that we have tried one of those um, like tapes. Um, also the non-slip, you know, for the carpet that you put underneath. We've tried everything and this carpet still moves. It is a really, really like, thin carpet or I should, actually I should say it's a rug um but yeah it is so thin but it, it is so so annoying it just pulls so much and I am really wanting to change this but I thought that I might as well make do with it and change it once we get a new dining table Just 
I checked underneath this couch because there was so much mess under there um I just I used one of those little mop things because it was thin enough to get under the the sofa um the sofa or the couch is extremely heavy but it does come off in parts but it's a hassle to put it back which is why I didn't do that but whew, the mess under here was not just from the birthday it's been accumulating for a good few weeks now there was toys under there, there was pennies under there, there was uh, everything you'd expect from a house full of children. I'm just so glad that I actually tackled this. got the whole room cleaned up and it was just feeling so much better um you can see at the back there that um well actually you can see now um that uh, my mom bought um sahara the tent for her birthday because they like to hide in places but yes i finally got the whole cleaning done and just look at it it looks so so much better the weather was starting to get better as well which was good um really just helped with the camera lighting so now we are heading upstairs because my room whew, needed cleaning i had to do the vacuuming so it pretty much was a whole house clean um but yeah i needed to get my bedroom done it was looking shabby it was not looking clean and my daughter's room was probably worse than mine so <laughs> you'll get to see that hopefully in a few moments
ago i can't believe all the mess that accumulated but at least all the bedrooms are looking very clean if you enjoyed this part of the video don't forget to smash a like share and subscribe and i'm going to see you guys on the next one Let me up, let me touch the flame now,